Hello everyone, this video is about the update of advanced version of Bevel Gears Maker. It contains mainly UI changes, but there's also new parameters. All links both to the installers and other pages are available under the video. If you like this, please thumbs up and subscribe the channel. Most of changes are on UI. Fields has been organized into tabs. This approach resolves problem with one tall window, which needs scrolling and collapsing sections for small monitors. First tab contains only main parameters, both for shaft and gears. Second tab has fields for modifications like tip relief of addendum, chamfers and crowning. It also contains switch for adding joints automatically. Motion formulas will be discussed later. Backlashes could be also moved here, but I decided to stay them separate together with gears. Last tab has an informative function about files used and created by the plugin. This was introduced to show whether necessary files can be created and where they are. Now all of them are placed in the plugin directory instead of Fusion installation folder. Some of you have reported errors which were the reason for the lack of permissions to this folder. Input-output model of the plugin has been rewritten and eventual lack of permissions shouldn't have any influence on working with it. If so, you'll only see the message in this tab where the plugin is located and what permissions you need to add. Menu section, estimated time and validation message is visible on each tab, so you can save, load parameters or see estimated time or validation errors regardless on tab. For those of you who are unfamiliar with other updates, may notice that there's no save, load and reset buttons. They exist, but now they are smaller and have been moved to the menu section. Now process can be cancelled. If you click OK, you don't need to wait until plugin ends. Addition to this, progress window now displays more atomic and better described steps. There's also estimated time. The more runs, the more accurate results it will show. Time is rounded up to the first 10 seconds. Preview options are available too. First is used to turn it off. Second displays course model of gears with dimensions of wall shaft. The last option shows additional parameters. In case of spiral and zero teeth, it will show parameters for cutter. If the plugin doesn't have problem with permissions, you should see an info icon on the bottom of the window. After clicking this, help document will be displayed in the browser. Important change is that spiral and zero teeth are now available only between 60 and 120 angle of shaft. In the older version, for high or low angles of shafts, gears can be located very high or low. It was changed and now set is centered in the Y axis, no matter what value of shaft angle is. If, for some reason, you want to know the shift value, you can get it from descriptions of components. It is Y parameter, so if you need to move gears to match cone apex with world geometry center, you can use it as shift in Y axis. Description also contains motion link formulas. Let's say we want to define a motion link between pinion and wheel. So first joint belongs to pinion, input, second to wheel, output, and we need to get this expression and pass it into field. Description shows few other parameters. Values specific for gears are as follows. D. Pitch diameter. Rho. Pitch cone angle. Big R. Virtual pitch radius. ZV. Virtual teeth number. Type. Straight spiral zero. Direction. Right-left. 
only for non-straight teeth. Common section contains parameters for shaft section like sigma shaft angle, big R E, cone distance, B tooth width. For non-straight teeth, there's also section with cutter tool information, R radius, beta helix angle, but it is displayed only for spirals, not zero. Parameters in wheel component have other values. When we back to the first tab, you'll notice that section will be reorganized and few inputs are not present anymore. Root fillet radius parameters has been removed and now clearance both for pinion and wheel is driven by clearance factor setting. Type of shaft has been removed too, it's determined automatically. Under the hood there's better algorithm for generating tooth's profile, no matter tooth has undercut or not. Another useful thing is the ability for changing tooth's width. Now you can set it to manual and change if you need. There's also an option for making one-to-one -one shafts, so pinion and wheel can have the same number of teeth. All fields have better descriptions and graphics showing what parameter means. There are two additional modifications of tooth, addendum tip relief and crowning. Both settings are available in modifications tab. Tip relief is set by width and height factor according to the module value. Crowning value also relates to the module. Results of using this parameter are better seen when we perform interference analysis. In most cases contact surfaces will be in the middle part of flanks. Remember to perform at least interference and motion analysis before manufacturing gears. Another change is that the gears are created in a new document, so you don't need to worry by interference with bodies in currently open design. Small but useful features are access. They can be simply obtained manually from circular edges, but plugin creates them automatically. If you use a new UI, toolbars, the plugin will be visible in a new tab swivel in design workspace. I suggest to uninstall the older version and close the Fusion before installing a new one. Sometimes it may be also necessary to reset customization in the Create panel in Solid tab to remove duplicated plugins icon from the old place. That's all. If you like this, please thumbs up and subscribe. New plugins and updates are on, so stay tuned and see you next time. Bye!